Alright, I want to show you guys how to get the size of a countersink here at the top here of the diameter using a ball bag. First we're going to take our eye stand and zero it out on the top surface here. Right there. Zero out my gauge. Oh, it moved on. Then we're going to find the top of the ball here. Wiggle it around. Nice spot it in. Good spot right there. Take the radius of the counter sink you wish to have, which you mean the print dimension. Or the radius of the print dimension divided by the tangent of half the angle of the counter sink. So if you're using, let's say, an 82, it would be 41 here. The tangent of 41. So my example is if you need an 846 diameter with an 82 degree. You take half of that, which is 423, divided by the tangent of 41, and you would need to go this deep in the program to theoretically hit that number. All right, so that was to find the program depth that you need to hit your print diameter. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to find uh, where you're at with the ball. Um, so we're gonna take the size of our ball, which was 1.125, and then we're gonna take the number that we got on the height stand, which is the distance from the top of the ball to the top of the part, which is 1.0165. And we get Point one oh eight five. So then we take that number and times it by the height again, which was one point zero one six five, which would be point one one zero two. So then we're gonna take that number and take the square root of it. Um, which is going to be 0 0.332. And then we're going to times that number by 2. And that will give you the size of the diameter that you have in your part. Or the diameter of the countersink that you have in your part.